My dearest Anya, not wife, but widow, before I have had Holy Communion, and Father Augustine has been with me, and we will be back again. Dear, silly little Fanny, my poor little sweetheart of how many years ago, ever my comforter, God comfort you now. What can I say? I die a noble death for Ireland's freedom. Men and women will vie with one another to shake your hand. Be proud of me, as I am and always have been of you. My cold exterior was but a, but a mask. It has saved me in these last days. You have a duty to me and to Ronan, that is, to live. My dying wishes are that you shall remember your state of health, work only as much as may be necessary, and freely accept the little attention which in due time will be showered upon you. You will be, you are, the wife of one of the leaders of the revolution. Sweeter still, you are my little child, my dearest head, my sweetheart, of the Hawthorne Head and Summer Eve. I remember all and I banish all, that I may be strong and die. I have but one hour to live, then God's judgment and through his infinite mercy a place nearer your poor granny and my father and my mother and Jem and all the fine old Irish who went through the scourge of similar misfortune from this veil of tears <coughs> into the promised land. The Ignishnach of God, a story, McCree, 
hold the can of this beer, Tina, good, look, the he made a cana. A reach, he blah has stay. Tusa, Nisha, of his rolling jump book. Adieu. Main and Prison, Dublin, Sunday 7th May 1916. My dearest Mary, before this note reaches you, I shall have fallen as a soldier in the cause of Irish freedom. I write to bid you a last farewell in this world and rely on you to pray and to get the prayers of the whole community for the repose of my soul. I go, I trust, to meet her bridges above and I'm quite prepared for the journey. The priest was with me and I received Holy Communion this morning. It was only this evening that, I, that the finding of the court martial was conveyed to me. Her mother will miss me, but I feel that with the God's help, she will manage to pull along. You know the Irish proverb, God's help is nearer than the door. The agony of the past few days has been intense, but I know, I now feel resigned to God's holy will. I might have fallen in action, as many have done, and been less well prepared for the journey before me. Do not blame me for the part I have taken. As a soldier, I merely carried out the orders of my superiors, who should have been in a position to know what was best in Ireland's interest. Let there be no talk of foolish enterprise. I have no vain regrets. Think of the thousands of Irishmen who fell fighting under the flag at Darndell attempting to do what England's experts now admit was, a, was, was an absolute impossibility. <coughs> if you really love me, teach the children in your class the history of their own land and teach them of the cause of Kathleen Neulkan, never died. Ireland shall be free from the centre to see as soon to see as soon as the people of Ireland believe in the necessity of Ireland's freedom and are prepared to make the necessity sacrifice to obtain it. Ireland cannot be free by strong resolution or vote of confidence, however unanimous. 
it may be that the struggle we have may will lend strength to Ireland's claim for representation at the Great Peace Conference when the map of Europe is being redrawn. Let us pray that God will benefit from it ultimately. Let you do your share by teaching Ireland's history as it should be taught. Mary, pray for me and get everybody to pray for me. Your loving brother, Jack. This is the last letter from Tom Corbett to his sister Lila, 7th of May 1916, remain in jail. I did not like to call you to this jail to see me before I left this world, because I felt it would grieve us both too much. So I am just dropping you a line to ask you to forgive me anything I do. I love you and to say goodbye to you and all my friends and to get you and them to say a prayer for my soul. Perhaps I'd never get the chance knowing when I was to die again, and so I'll try die and die well. I received Holy Communion this morning and hope to do so again before I die. Pray for me. Ask Father Divine, Father Healy and Father O'Brien to say Mass for me. Also any priest you may know. May God help you all to die well and you to bear your sorrow. I send you a prayer book as a token. Write to Nan, Jack and Willie and ask them to pray for me. Your loving brother comes. 